Hi, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to open up a Kami assignment from Google Classroom. So what you want to first do is go to Google Classroom and you should see a list of your classes here and you're going to sign into your classroom. As you can see, this is just an example classroom and I'm signed in as an example student. So I'm going to go over here to classwork. And I see I have one assignment here. I'm going to click on that assignment. And I want to go down to view assignment. You noticed once I went to this screen, when I clicked on view assignment, it gives me more details about the assignment. And over here, this is the actual work that's assigned for points, these 10 points right here. This is some additional information that are instructions that can show me how to fill out this Kami assignment. But that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you what it's like to fill out the Kami assignment. So I don't want to hit turn in yet because I didn't do the work yet. I'm going to click on this file right here. So once this opens, then I have a couple options here. And what you want to click is open with Kami. Then the next step you want to do is authorize Google Drive. That will connect it to your Google Drive account. And then you have to select your account. In your next prompt, you want to allow Kami to have access to other things that are in your Google Drive. So you want to go down to the bottom here and click allow. And then again, authorize Google Drive if that pops up. So once you've allowed Kami to have access to Google Drive, the next thing you need to do is actually do the work that's going to be turned into your Google Classroom teacher. When you get to this screen, you'll see some tools on the left hand side that allow you to fill this out. Now, right now it's set on pen, so you can actually draw if you need to or color in some answers. If you need to do something like that, you can use a highlighter to mark it up. You can use a text box to type in text. So if I wanted to type my name, for example, I could click up here where it says name and I could start typing. The only problem is you see I have a bar up there for the text box options that's in my way now. So I can just kind of swipe with two fingers and I can move this whole screen down just a little bit. So now I can see what I'm typing and then I can type in my, my name if I wanted to. Okay, there we go. It's time to actually do the problems that you're going to turn in. And so you can do that by just clicking here and typing in the answers. You could also try to write in the answers, but it's not that easy to do with just your mouse. Um, if you don't have a touch screen device, it could be a little difficult to do that. So it would be better probably in this case just to use a text box and to type the numbers in. So if I have to type in the angle for L2, if I take the first angle and I have to subtract that from 180 degrees, then this would be 135 degrees right here. So I could type 135 in there. So you do have different options over here for the text box. You can choose your color that you want to type that text in by selecting here, or you can select more colors right here and save those to a color palette. If you want to actually draw something on the document, maybe you need to mark something up, circle something, you can do that through this drawing tool right here. You can control the size of the line by this drop down box right here and you can choose the thickness of the line and you can choose the color of the line. Um, let's say I choose purple here and I can just use the mouse pad to circle something if I needed to and mark something up. If you make a mistake and you want to erase something, you can always go back. There's a back undo arrow right up here at the top. You can click undo and it will reverse whatever you just did. It'll take that away. I need over on the left hand side to highlight something, you can click the highlighter tool and it gives you different colors of highlighters and then you can highlight something. Let's say I want to highlight this title right here, then I can highlight that. Another tool I wanted to point out is you do have an equation writer right here. If I click on that, if I wanted to fill out this answer right here, I could click there. It gives me a text box. I can control the font size here. If I want to increase the size, let's say I want to increase the size, I could click there. And again, you'd have the ability to type in the answer. I'm going to say 45 degrees, but this time I can put a symbol in there and I can put the degrees symbol in there. If I go down here to different symbols, I would be able to do that. I can click the degrees symbol and now I have it there. As you can see, it doesn't allow you to move it around as easily with this, but you still can move it around. If I choose this and this, and hold it, click and hold, I can move it around. So just to show you some other tools you have access to here, and you can definitely experiment with some of these, but here are some shapes that you can include. You can add some shapes in here. So if I wanted to 
um, put a circle in here and an ellipse, you could do that. You could put in triangles and so on. There are ways you can do that. And actually gives you the exact measurements of the triangle. If, if you click and drag and move around, you can control the size of that triangle. Um, you can insert an image here. There's an eraser, so I can click the eraser and I can erase. While you're working, you will get this pop-up that happens and that's telling you that you need to save changes. So I didn't save any changes yet, so you want to authorize Google Drive. Okay, let's say we're done with this assignment. We've filled out everything we need to, and now we're going to click Turn In uh, when we're finished, and this will give it to the teacher. So I can go up here to where it says Save, and you notice there's a Turn In button. I can click that. Now it's telling me what's going to happen here. I'm going to click Turn In. And you notice now I have the option to unsubmit if I need to. Okay, so at this point I'm done. And I can close this. And I can close this or go back to Google Classroom. Notice now once we're in Google Classroom, it says it was turned in and you're done. And you're just waiting for the teacher to give you feedback. Okay, so that's the basic steps for completing a Kami assignment. If you have any questions on this and you're confused, you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Have a great day.